Hello friends. In this video, we will discuss how to calculate magnitude and direction of resultant of addition of two vectors. Please make sure you watched vectors part one to part four. Then go ahead with part five. Suppose we have two vectors a and b, and we have to add them and find the resultant r. So for that we will use head to tail method to draw it. We have already discussed head to tail method in part two. Please watch vectors part two to go in detail. So in head to tail method, first we will draw vector A of same length and same direction. Then from head of vector A means from this point, we will draw vector B of same length and same direction. So this is our start point and this is end point. So we will join start and end point to find the resultant R. So this is our resultant R. And we have to find the magnitude and direction of this resultant vector R. Magnitude means numerical value or size of this vector R. So for that, first of all, we are going to split this vector A and this vector B into horizontal and vertical components. We had discussed horizontal and vertical components in part 3. So please watch vectors part 3 to go in detail. This horizontal length is AX or horizontal component of A and this vertical length is AY or vertical component of this vector A. The same way we will split this vector B into BX and BY. So this horizontal length is BX and this vertical length is BY. Now let's consider this resultant vector R. So horizontal component of R would be this length, it's RX and the same way this vertical length would be RY. You can see this length is AX and this length is actually BX. So RX equals AX plus BX. The same way if you see here RY is actually the addition of this AY and BY. So RY equals AY plus BY. So now we have horizontal and vertical components of this resultant vector R. We can use this Rx and Ry to find the magnitude and direction. To find the magnitude of R, we will use this formula square root of Rx to the whole square plus Ry to the whole square. And to find the direction of R, direction means this angle theta. So theta would equals tan inverse Ry over Rx. We have studied these two formulas in detail in part 4. So please watch part 4 to go in detail. So let's review all the steps again. So in the problem you will be given two vectors A and B and you have to find the resultant vector R which would be the addition of the of A and B. So for that step 1 you have to find the horizontal and vertical components of each vector A and B. That means you have to find AX and AY using formulas AX equals to A cos theta and AY equals to A sin theta. The same way you have to find BX and BY. BX equals to B cos theta and BY equals to B sin theta. Then step 2, you have to add both horizontal components AX and BX to find the horizontal component RX and add up vertical components AY and BY to find vertical component RY. Then use these two formulas to find the magnitude and direction of resultant. Now let's take an example. Here is the question. So you are given two displacement vectors A and B. Value of vector A is 20 meter and its angle is 30 degree. While value of vector B is 50 meter and its angle is 60 degree from the east. We have to find the magnitude and direction of resultant vector R 
विच इज द एडिशन ऑफ वेक्टर ए एंड वेक्टर बी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वे विल फाइंड एक्स एंड वाई कंपोनेंट ऑफ ईच वैक्टर ए एंड बी सो फॉर दैट वी कैन मेक अ टेबल we will write x components here and y components in this row formula of ax would be a cos theta and formula of ay would be a sin theta so value of a is 20 meters and theta 1 is 30 degree and plug in values here solve this you will get here 17.32 meter and here 10 meters the same way we have to find the x and y components of vector b so formula of bx is b cos theta and by equals b sin theta so plug in values it will become 50 cos 60 degree the same way here 50 sin 60 degree you can use calculator to calculate these values 25 meters and here 43.3 meters So now we have x and y components of each vector. So we will add both x components to find the r x. R x is the x component of resultant vector r. That means we have to add this value and this value. So we got r x equal to forty two point three two meters. Same way we can find the value of y component of resultant vector r, which is r y. and we have to add both the y components ay plus by so 10 meter plus 43.3 meters that will give us 53.3 meters so now we have x and y components of resultant vector r using these components we can find the magnitude and direction of resultant vector r let me show you formula so for magnitude we use Root r x to the whole square plus r by to the whole square, which is forty two point three two to the whole square plus fifty three point three to the whole square. This gives us sixty eight meters. The same way for direction, we use formula tan inverse r y over r x. Plug in values fifty three point three over forty two point three two. and this give us you can use calculator to find inverse of tan make sure your calculator setting should be on the degree so this give us 51.5 degree so 68 meter is the magnitude of the resultant r and 51.5 degree is the direction of resultant vector r i hope you understand this topic so far in the next video we will discuss how to add more than two vectors numerically so stay tuned and study more don't forget to subscribe share and likes for daily updates thank you